But first, firefighters in Volusia County spent the day battling about a dozen wildfires. Sky 6 got video of two of them burning this afternoon. One of those fires burning east of I-95 was threatening homes, but is contained tonight with no damage done. Thanks for joining us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Crews thought they had the other fire, the Double Gate fire, under control last week, but they say it jumped containment lines today. New 6's Treasure Roberts is live in Volusia County tonight, where dry weather has fire officials on high alert tonight, Treasure. Yeah, Lisa and Matt, officials say about 12 wildfires broke out across Volusia County today. Fire crews were working for hours trying to contain them as the flames just tore through forestry. I actually spoke with a lieutenant from the Daytona Beach Fire Department who says it's really rare to have this many at one time. We haven't seen things like this since 98 when we had brush fires everywhere. Wednesday afternoon, big flames spread through brush across Volusia County. Several crews were stretched between multiple fire scenes like this one on Clyde Morris Boulevard near Pine Street in Daytona Beach. Oh, it's definitely jumping the road. Jordan Snipes was in the area picking up a friend when he noticed thick smoke. They decided to go investigate. As soon as we walk in the woods, we see like a wall of flames. Snipes said the flames overtook the brush quickly. We watched it today move from 75 yards in the woods to almost the side of the road within a, a few minutes. We know there's houses right around there and we were worried for the people around in the houses. When fire crews got to the scene, they closed the roads due to low visibility and immediately began working to contain the flames. Over in Tiger Bay State Park, a big fire charred several trees. Crews used eight bulldozers in an attempt to put those flames out. Daytona Beach Fire Lieutenant Antoine Lewis explained how that works. With bulldozers, they literally knock down trees and literally clear an area so that the fire has nowhere else to burn. And the reason these fires continue to pop up. It is the season. When we don't have enough rain, the vegetation does dry out and it becomes very susceptible to igniting under the slightest conditions. Lewis is urging residents not to throw cigarettes on the ground, park running cars on the grass, and emphasizes no open burning. Lewis says there could be a quick fix to the issue of spreading fires. The simplest thing that can help all of this is rain. Now, some of those wildfires have been contained, but fire officials are still warning residents and drivers to be cautious. If you are driving in the areas where there was a wildfire, he says smoke could linger for up to two days. In Daytona Beach, Treasure Roberts getting results, New 6.